Okay, we're right next to the road here, and uh, we've got a really decent size um, clump of pampas. And I just want to see if you know I can demolish this uh, with my chainsaw, and uh, how much work that's going to take, and how how long it's going to take. As you can see, it only took uh, five minutes or so to uh, demolish most of that um, clump of pampas grass. Now, okay, we've got a really full trailer load of uh, pampas uh, there. Um, as you can see, we did a fairly good demolition job on the, on the clump. See a little bit more there if we wanted. I wasn't sure about how deep into the clump I should go. Um, okay, now the best way to uh, <clears throat> break up this uh, pampas grass and uh, get it into a suitable form to uh, put it into the, um, the shuttering for the light earth uh, test panel is to um, put it through a lawnmower great if I had a tractor mounted uh, slasher, that would go a lot faster, but uh, unfortunately um, I've got a lawnmower. So this is stuff that I did the other day, and uh, this really um, makes the cutty grass uh, easy to work with. As you know, it, um, it is cutty grass, and uh, it is a uh, cut, um, uh, even wearing gloves and kinds of gear it's difficult to work with but this um, is uh, once you've chopped it up like this it's actually um, quite pleasant to work with uh, unbelievable as that might sound See what we've got here. Beautiful stuff. Just the right uh, form for us to work with.
Looking good. And uh, we've still got a heap of um, tempest grass. It's only uh, used a fraction of uh, what we got off that clump that we broke up the other day. And um, this some um, demonstrates that pampas has enormous potential uh, for lighter building and uh, as you know it's, uh, it's an enormous problem with a noxious weed in the uh, forests it's, it's usually easy to get access to it, it's often uh, along the access roads in the, in the pine forests um, so it's um, I'm going to do a brown coat on this shortly just to show you how it will scrub up when we put our next. 